Hello everyone, welcome to helpyourmath.com. So this time we will construct the stem lift plot. Okay, so please use, uh, please look at this example. So construct a stem lift plot using the given data. Okay, so creating stem lift plot using Excel, we have two different uh, ways to do it. So one is to use the organic data and then just uh, based on the uh, 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 arrangement, we can just input data or we are using a uh, count if feature, but that's very, very complicated. So this time we're only using very simple like organizing data method here. Okay. So first of all, you are highlighting all this data. And then when you look at uh, right side, top part here, then you will see A to Z and this kind of filter those uh, button and click that. Then we are sort smallest to largest. That's why you click that. Okay. Then now before the data was mixed up, but this time it organized it from the smallest to largest data here. Okay. So when you look at this data set, you will see like 40, 47 and 49 49 so 10 digits are repeating so same a 50 51 52 54 so 10 digits are repeating so the repeating digit we just call stem and then other digit we just call leaves okay so i'm gonna just title stem here and then stem start from the 42 80 so 4 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay. The largest is 80 something, so I'm gonna put only 8 here. And the leaves. So now we just put, okay, so we can see uh, 0, 7, 9, 9. So here, 40, so I put 0 here, so 40, and 47, and 49, and 49. Okay, next one is uh, 50. And 51, 52, 54, 56, 58, 59, and 59. Now, so to double check, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's good. Okay, 60 case, we can do 61, 2, Three, seven, okay, and then seven case. Um, so one, three, six, eight, nine. That's it. The eighty case zero four four seven. Zero four four seven. And now, as you see, uh, the data are all kind of uh, uh, space apart. So I'm gonna just make a uh, reduce of space so that they can close to each other. So the, all the leaves part D two K I highlighted it and then just to make smaller space. And as you see, all this data now gathering to each other. Okay. Now, because we want to distinguish stem part and the leaves part. So I'm gonna highlight stem, all this number, and you can see this border line here, then click that and make right border. And now you see the line here. Okay, we can make maybe a little bit thicker line here so we can see a little better. Um, line, line style. Okay. And now, um, all this part of leaves, so I'm gonna just, um, Type leaves and just to highlight all these blank together, and then you see the merge in the center. And now it merge and then make a center uh, title here. So the stem part and the leaves part. Here. Okay, but it is not done yet. So you need to write key as well. Okay, so we are making. Just any uh, pair of number like a uh, six slash one or a slash four, whatever you want to do. So six one equal two six one. Okay. okay. 
now it's very clear based on this key now can i can read all this data as a 10 digit number so 40 and then 47 and 49 like that what about without the key yeah so most people are may reading it as a 10 digit number but there are many different ways to reading this data such as maybe 4.0 0.47 or 0.51, something like that. There are many various ways to read it. So you must uh, re, uh, just write the key value here so that we can follow how to read this key and uh, how to follow reading this data based on this key. Okay? Yeah. So that's the way how to, uh, to construct the uh, stem plot, stem lead plot using the Excel. I really hope this video helps you to understand how to do it. And I will see you again with different people. All right, thank you. Bye.